dag, it's true. Um, guess where I am? Yeah, obviously I'm going fishing right now. But uh, unfortunately, um, the boat I'm riding on is right now dead silent because uh, no one seemed to have caught any fish so far. Um, today is not a good day for fishing. And actually, um, I was meant to catch the sea breed, but uh, it's quite difficult to see the face of sea bream today and uh, I'm actually quite bored <laughs> so so what I'm going to do is of course Dutch <laughs> I've actually brought my notebook to the boat and uh, yeah why do we do Dutch right now because we can't catch so we do Dutch, right? And uh, yeah. Uh, firstly, I want to show you uh, my tackles and the baits, like that. This is my rod, actually. I'm aiming at uh, 40 meters. This is electronic, and I can move it. And the reel gonna move. And basically, this is where I sit. Um, this is our bait, the kind of shrimp. And uh, this is actually Tokyo Bay. Um, you can see probably Tokyo or Yokohama quite far away. And this is. This is a peninsula that belongs to uh, Kanagawa Prefecture, which is uh, next to Tokyo. And uh, that island, quite far away, is called Oshima, Oshima Island. There is a volcano and uh, nature, of course. And I'm not quite sure whether you can see, but um, over there, there is a Shizuoka Prefecture which is quite well known for the hot spring or Japanese orange called Mikan and these are all the fishing boats we're going together but uh, this is probably the other company's fishing boat but uh, obviously the sea is dead silent no one seemed to catch fish as well and many boats have returned to the ports already because uh yeah you know they gave up this is uh, actually uh, chiba prefecture uh, also close to tokyo and uh yeah i'm actually quite bored and i really go back to the ports immediately but the captain seemed to have not yet, not yet decided to um, go back to the ports. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, yeah, obviously I need to wait for a fish for a while, for more than an hour probably. It's actually noon. It's a good weather though. And finally the ship is heading towards the port and uh, this is what I've got today. The horse mackerel and scorpion fish. Yeah, they taste quite good but uh, yeah, it was a pity that we haven't got any sea bream which must be the main target for today but anyways uh, I will continue studying so um I go back to my car so uh, this is actually not my car by the way um, I've memorized the sentences in the boat and I've made uh, English 
version of the sentences so I will do a quick test before going back to my home so yeah let's go number one I'll see I'm not cheating again just a notebook on this page only in English so um, every week I go to fishing gonna be yes I can work I can work I can fishing and the uh, second one um, I take the boat uh, gonna be the I can name the boat yeah? and sea bream that I couldn't get today is Zebrasim Seabus which I love is a uh, Zebars Tuna must be a uh, Tunain right um, I've caught 100 meters of fish it's gonna be the Ik Hep 100 100 meters meters 100 meter fish Um, probably that's okay. And uh, I used to go to fishing with my dad, but uh, he's already died. Must uh, gonna be the ik uh, ik ging vroeger uh, fishing met my father, but uh, he is testorfin. Right? Um, this is actually true. Uh, I am not kind of mocking or something. This is true. Um, yeah. And the uh, next one is Tokyo Bay is recently clean. Uh, Tokyo Bay is all lars schoon. Okay. Um, next one in Tokyo on the or the prefecture uh, next to Tokyo. Gonna be the uh, in Tokyo of the prefecture uh, Nast Tokyo that's okay and I wake up at 3 in the morning gonna be the uh, Ik Vort Ik Vort on 3 Uhr in wow ah Ik Vort Om drie uur nacht uh, wakken. I'm not sure about uh, woord or not, but but anyways next. Um, then I drive car to the port. Is easy. Uh, ik dan uh, rijd uh, ik auto rijd ik auto. Uh, nar uh, Hafen. And the last one, also, I can cook fish, and um, that is delicious. Is uh, orc, uh, kanik, uh, fish cooking, and het is uh, delicious. Uh, hair like, hair like, yeah. So, quick check. Hair like is okay, uh, rate is okay, um, the ik word, did I say word? Word fucking, word fucking, uh, uh, yeah, um, I'm not quite sure about the wake up part, but uh, I will check in a bit, so maybe other things went well, so this is the uh, first test part. It's done uh, in probably 30 minutes or so uh, during the fishing. So I've got two and a half hours more. So I will get back to home and do the grammatical part and take the vid again. So see you later. See you at home. So my plan for next nine hours is to learn the kind of many types of um, grammatical things simultaneously uh, make a huge test for grammar and do the final test final kind of grammatical test on the last one hour so that's gonna be uh, nine hours for grammar so um, I will do that anyways for me grammar is a 
kind of the same thing as a numerical formula in a mathematics, which means we can put a random number on the formula to make a conclusion. And uh, for the language study, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, we can put random word in inside a grammar to make a um, conclusion, which means the sentences. Uh, the most important one, I think, is a conclusion or the sentences, the final one, not the grammar. But uh, basically, in Japan, the schools or universities are putting too much effort on the grammar. Uh, uh, this is just my opinion. So uh, I will make it shorter in my challenge. Uh, I will just uh, take nine hours only nine hours for grammar and I don't I don't use a typical grammatical study like uh, making a notebook huge notebook and uh, making a kind of tree or graph or something like that and I, I will not use that kind of thing I will just make a, it just I, I continue making a kind of um, natural and real conversational sentences by using the grammar that I've learned, I don't make a really huge tree of grammar. So, though uh, probably I will make a kind of tiny tables to make it understandable. So, anyways, let's go. So um, now I go back to my home quite late because uh, my car battery went up actually and uh, I needed to, I needed to call um, car rescue or something to open the bonnet and uh, revive the electricity in car battery in car so uh, that's why um, I went back to my home uh, quite late after the fishing um, so um, this was actually the rental car and was not my car, so that was not a big deal. And I was in endurance, so um, there has been no money to pay. But um, I felt kind of exhausted because, uh, yeah, because of the fishing. My bo bodies are still shaking because of the waves because <laughs> I was in the boat. So um, today I've got um, two, two hours and a half more to study on. Um, but grammar, grammar, I guess. So, um, but maybe I, I can't edit the beat for today and I can't publish it on uh, tonight. So, um, I will make it tomorrow probably, or tomorrow or day after tomorrow because uh, tomorrow I've got plenty of time. Um, and then Sunday. So, um, yeah, probably I will make, uh, one long video for weekend tomorrow or day after tomorrow, um, Monday. Because uh, uh, tomorrow I will be studying for about um, five hours. So, um, yeah, six to. Yeah, probably it's gonna be nine hours of study for the weekend. Not quite long, but yeah, anyways, I, I'm going to publish it on Sunday or Monday, anyways. So, see you later.
Hey, I just googled how to say often in Dutch and it becomes like this. You can expect the answer probably. Um, V is pronounced like V, V, so it's like this, right? Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I found out if I put this random meaningless sentence AI often you. Um, actually, uh, it took almost a uh, kind of uh, 78 hours to complete the grammatical things. Um, I'm really tired because, uh, yeah, I've read almost all the parts that is written on the gramma grammatical things. In the DutchGrammar.com, I've read uh, verb, nouns, article, pronouns, verbs, and word order a bit, and uh, also well, I summarize them into the slide. Um, hopefully, I could understand. So um, I've made a short sentences. Um, Probably I will make a test for tomorrow, but uh, I took actually uh, too much time on that. Um, I need to change my plan a bit because, uh, yeah, I spent too much time on uh, just the reading uh, kind of grammar. But uh, anyways, I, I could understand uh, the basic thing in that, so see you tomorrow.